so now we need to learn how to calculate gross profit using DAX and first of all let me change the screen and let me move to the data screen here I will need that to show you something and now in the table tools you will find the option to click on new measure and once you do that you will see that the option to calculate the measure is here here you can write your formula let me zoom in for you and here we have the option okay so first of all let us give the measure name and that is going to be gross profit so i'm going to say gross profit equals now we need to use a function here right so we could simply use the sum function but the problem with sum function is it will going it will be summing up all the values that are available in the amount column so what we need to do is that we need to somehow tell power bi that please use the sum function but apply a filter and that filter should be that only those values should be considered that are you know included in the calculation of gross profit so we should be talking about sales and cost of sales only when we are doing when we are doing the calculation of gross profit so and that function the fu function that uh, gives us the option to apply such a filter is called calculate so i'll simply write calculate and it will give me the option press the tab key and now this function is the one that is going that is that will let us apply that kind of you know filter uh, please uh, get familiar with this function because this function will do a lot of magics for us and this is the most widely used dex function in fact we will be able to achieve 90 percent of our data analysis financial analysis using this function only okay so let us start first of all within the calculate function we need to tell you know power bi to calculate the sum and we can start the sum and sum of amount we can start the sum of amount and we can do that and we can close the sum formula here and you know this way now the first thing that has been done is the sum uh, but this uh, but the other way of achieving that is we don't have to do this sum of tblgl amount again remember we just calculated the sum of tblgl amount just a moment ago and that was stored in our data in power bi uh, with a name called amount ftp right so what i need to do is that i need to simply delete it here and I will start typing amount FTP and actually it should give me I think that was named as total FTP right so yes here it is so I will simply write total FTP I'm sorry that was not named as sum it was named as total FTP so here it will give me the option as total FTP please do not um, uh, use these FX function these are formulas use this one which has calculator icon on your left if I can zoom in for you okay I, this cannot be zoomed in okay so all right so you know we are going to use this total ftp function here let me do that again total ftp and just double click or uh, press tab key and it should select for you and now press comma okay let me repeat that again you could use that sum of you know and calculate that go to tblgl and calculate the uh, pick up the amount column and do the sum you can use that same formula that we were just using there is no harm in doing that but the even better way is that if you already have that calculation available in your data in power bi now you already have defined that kind of measure just simply use that measure and that is more efficient okay so we have only defined until now that please calculate the total of for that period values whatever that are going to be but now we need to tell our power bi that please only use the values that are considered in calculating gross profit right so i will zoom out for you and i will show you where we can do that so if i can drag it down now here it is pnl and you can see i can go to you know sub account and say please use the sales return account and the sales let me zoom in you can say please in this in the sub account please use the sales and sales return and cost of sales consider these three or you can you know work efficiently and go backwards and you can simply say please use the class as trading account only consider the class where it says trading account so both will bring in the same thing but you know here we have to define only one filter that class equals trading account and if we go at other levels like this one subclass or subclass to or account level or sub account we have to define you know one two and three filters so it's better that we uh, uh, stick to this function that is cl a class level trading account so let me go back to my this level that is where we are defining our measure and i will say trading account class 
just write class and it will give you the option so now you can see that excel has given you the option power bi has given you the option that you can select tbl chart of accounts class tbl chart of accounts subclass or subclass 2 because this is the word included in all of them so i will say please pick up the class and now please press the equal sign and say in the inverted commas trading account in the same way that here it is mentioned in our data so trading and account a is small and pick it as as is and press the you know close the bracket okay so let us focus on this uh, uh, you know on this on this measure again here so we are we are defining it as please calculate the gross profit that is just the name that can be anything and we are saying please bring in the total ftp again right that is already the function that we have defined that please bring in the total but then we have to define a filter that please bring in the total where the class is trading account right and if we have to define a filter like that that can only be possible within this calculate function so what calculate function is doing is that calculate function is letting you calculate something with these additional conditions or filters okay so now let us before we finish that let us do some formatting and so please make sure that we place it in the right table i will place it place it in the gl because that is where my data lives and secondly after that i'm going to just give it a second and uh, okay so give it one more second please and then after that please make sure the format is in number because i and i prefer whole number here and uh, make sure that you know this digit is not auto this should be zero and after that please also select this comma separated because that is you know that makes it much uh, that makes the value much more uh, readable and that is it so please press enter and this should actually you know do the job for you so i'll simply press enter and this uh, measure will be added to my gl right away okay so let us zoom out and let us go back to our dashboard now you can see the gross profit here in our gl and let us go back to our dashboard so i don't want to really mess up uh, values here okay so i will simply copy gross profit from here and i will take that to my separate screen so simply Control c go into this page and uh, let me delete this you know previous working from here uh, the pnl and once we have deleted that let me paste my value here okay so gross profit value has been you know brought here and you i think i'm sure that you must remember that this value was actually coming from uh, the previous uh, screen where we had calculated the gross profit using the filter so the first thing that i want to do is that i want to improve the visibility so give me a second to make sure that i format that correctly and i want to increase the value size font and that is uh, let me increase that to 14 for now so that you know we can better read that okay so we can read it now perfect so let me bring that here right so what i need to achieve now is that i want to bring in the gross profit as well so i will do that right now from my gl to this screen and once i do that you will notice that we should have the same values so where's my gross profit here it is and let me bring that in and now we have the separate column for the gross profit uh, you know this gross profit heading means that it is coming from the measure and you can see that we have the same value but the important thing is that you know the filter is still there so i'm i i, I cannot you know uh, i have to remove the filter so i will rather than removing the filter here i will simply copy and paste this matrix again to keep the value separate and now from this matrix i am removing this gross profit margin those gross profit value and from this value i'm removing this total ftp okay so let us go here and let us remove the filter from here now and uh, there should be a filter here and if i remove that filter here you will notice that now the amount is back to the totals so this is no more the gross profit but let us go here and let us remove this filter from here now and you will notice that it actually makes no difference and we have the same gross profit that is 2.3 3.9 and 5.3 so if i go back to pnl you will be able to see that 
2.3, 3.9 and 5.3. So we actually have the same values here in our uh, gross profit. So we can calculate the gross profit bit in but using DAX now. So we are not dependent on the visual level filters for, cal for calculating the values like gross profit. And most importantly, now I have the gross profit value in my database in this Power BI. Whenever I like to calculate something based on gross profit like gross profit margin, I can simply use that measure which has already been made. So I hope that is clear now but if it is not, don't worry at all because in the next lecture we are going to calculate the uh, net profit and operating profit using the very similar basis, very same formula and filters. So even if it is not clear, that will be you know uh, getting clear in the next lecture and if you are already confident that you have understood, please do that yourself and do then you can check your answers in the next lecture.